Hello Internet, welcome back to LPX Studios Reviews. My name is Andrew Huang, aka Wang375, and I'm here to bring you my one week report and review on the Gal on the sorry, the Samsung Gear S. Um, I don't know why I keep using the Galaxy on top of it, it's just a Gear S. Um, but like I said in my other videos, um, I challenged myself the last seven days to strictly use nothing but the Gear S all week. Uh, that means no phone, no smartphone. I didn't, I didn't get to carry around my Note 4 with me. Um, I left it at home. Every, every day I went to work. Um, and then so as soon as I went to work, I had to solely rely on the actual Gear S device um, to do all my communication needs. And I just wanted to see how ready, well, not just for myself, but how ready is the market for these touch, these such devices where now we're just moving from the smart devices to the smart watches. Um, I learned a lot in the past week about the watch. Um, I have a lot of pros and a lot of cons towards it, and that which I'll go through this review. Um, and I did get receive some feedback from my first unboxing with first impressions, and I know that video went on a little bit longer. And I do I do gotta apologize. Like for me, I, for my review style, I like I just like to go ad libbing it, um, just because I think scripted. It's just it's just not my style. And I know my videos can probably tend to drag on a little bit over 20 minutes or more. So for this review, I'm going to leave little sections below down, you know, either right below the screen here. Um, Throughout the entire video, I'm gonna I'm gonna divide this video into six segments, um, pretty much broken down by summary of the week, hardware, functionality, apps and widgets, lifestyle, and final thoughts on the device. Um, if one of these categories is into your liking, you can just go ahead and skip to the next one, or if you skip something, you can always go back. So this way, you don't have to scroll through the entire video to kind of catch up to this section, or just go scroll ahead. Um, so you can just go ahead and catch up on the video. Um, I'm also testing out some new well not really equipment but just some new video techniques so forgive me if this doesn't really come out too well um thought i play around with the green screen um i don't have the proper lighting equipment i don't really have any pro this is all ghetto rigged if you actually turned around and looked at everything but um without further ado let's just go ahead and dive right in um so what happened throughout the week well <laughs> i gotta tell you it was a bit of a struggle um i am so used to having the apps and the internet on my phone now that it was kind of tough not being able to just do simple things like facebook uh play my games like clash of clans and uh, star wars commander and a bunch of other things and it was just weird not having it um and plus essentially since i'm a phablet user too um, i'm pretty much downgraded from a 5.5 inch screen to a two inch screen um, so it was a little bit difficult but one thing i gotta say really quickly though is if this watch had come out I'd say right around 2006, 2007 when the iPhone was announced, I think this would have absolutely kicked butt. Um, just because if you, the functionalities that you get out of this watch are very comparable to the phones back then. Um, the flip phones and the push-up phones that we had where it was texting, calling, um, some games, some web browsing, some email. Um, pretty much it was the emergence of those type of functions. and. If this had come out right after that period, it would have been perfect. Everyone would be carrying this around just because it was just another way of you just walking around with it. That's what it felt like to me. Um, I personally felt like it fell a little short on certain aspects because I think I had way too many expectations for it. But don't get me wrong. I still love this thing. Um, just going to list off some cons here. Um, things I didn't like were the fact that – so let me – I'm going to bring it up here for you. We're going to go over the device here. So I'm going to go dive right into the cons here. And well, plus it does have a web browser. Uh, so let me, go, let me just focus in here for you guys. Sorry, I have to manually operate my cameras. All right. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully it's not too bright, actually. Um, it does come with a, you have to download the web browser. So unfortunately, if you were thinking that you were going to just purchase the watch by itself without a phone um, you're gonna be in for a rude awakening because you do you do need to have a smartphone or an Android uh, at least a Samsung device to help manage the watch um, because unfortunately it does still kind of re require you to run the main operating systems support so so support apps and all all the functions that you may need it transfers from the phone for you so 
like the watch doesn't have a proprietary app store so let me just go back really quick and show you so let's say I want I want to get more applications I gotta open up my phone here let's try that again it opens it up in the gear in, in my in my device in order to get the apps um, so let's say just for now here I didn't I didn't download here car finder for gear I didn't download that install except like you need to download it from your device first in order to appear on the device here so as you see it's downloading right now give it a few moments it's currently installing it on the device and it should appear in a few seconds here alright while it's installing there aren't hundreds and thousands of and millions of apps out there there's only a, a good handful out there but the ones that exist right now that are free keep in mind are actually pretty useful um, actually and some of the games that are out there are pretty fun too actually um, Samsung a lot of, made a lot of proprietary apps so a lot of things revolving around uh, fitness tracking um, stopwatches heart rate monitor all that stuff's all in there all right. Well, while that loads, I'm gonna go back to the internet thing. Sorry for going back and forth here, but so for example, I'm gonna go to eBay here really quick. Let that load up. So while that's loading, and that's another thing you're gonna find out, it takes a while for the web browsers to load. Um, so even when you're on the 4G connection, it takes a while. For it takes a while for the internet browser to work so it's like it actually reminded me of how we used to browse the internet on our old cell phones back in 05 and 06 with the flip phones you kinda of have to wait five years for it to load and it loads up but as you can see here I don't know if you can really make out there and let me go ahead and see if I can zoom in more for you guys there you go I think you see it by so I mean you it, it comes out pretty clear I mean you can see it pretty well um, I'm on eBay right now, and you have the whole pinch zoom. Hold on. All right, it's not. Do oh wait. Okay, so actually, this eBay site actually shrunk it down. So that's one of the things I found. So this site may not be the best example, but let's see if I can do it here. There we go. You can do pinch zoom on the websites, so it makes it easier to read. So you know they're not minuscule text. So I mean, you can go ahead and browse around like this, you know. So I'm gonna go to Home and Garden. It's gonna bring it up very slowly. Um, sometimes fast. It really depends on your connection. Um, at work, it was it was pretty slow for me. Um, oh, connecting to your Wi-Fi, it's another nightmare. Um, you can connect the thing to Wi-Fi, but you have to go through hoops and ladders and. I just I just stuck with the 4G connection at that point in time, but as you can see here, you can browse the internet just fine. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, especially if you're coming off of a regular phone. Sorry, it's focused down that way, and yeah, I mean that's pretty much it there for that one. So I mean, I like the fact that it had internet built in, so in case I really did need to search for something, I could search for it. So that was there. Another con. So I'm going to do all the cons before I get into the positives. Um, another con was that I found out that using pure 4G on this device, uh, they were saying that the battery could last really long, and that that's very true. Um, I saw other people commenting on they used it for a day, about a couple days, without ever having to charge it, charge it, but that's without it being on the cellular network. And it actually says on the device, when you go to the cellular network, let me go ahead and bring that up for you. Oh, is it already on 4G? Oh, sorry. You just got to press, press down the power button here. Bring on mobile networks. And then let's say I want to put it always on. Gives you this little message. Uh, I'll let it focus there a second. Um, apologize, people. <laughs> sorry, I'm not working with the best equipment here. Um, but it says here, uh, it'll, it pretty much tells you that it will increase battery consumption. And it does. Uh, because I saw it literally go, I had, I played around for the first day and it lasted the entire day and I only lost like 20-30% power. Um, using it on 4G all day long, but I left my I leave my house around 6 a.m. typically and I get home around 6.30, 7 p.m. And by the time I got home, it was, it was actually 
we're sitting around about 15 percent um, which is a significant difference from the 70 80 percent that I experienced before so I could clearly tell it was using a lot of power but keep in mind your phone doesn't even last that long on a single charge keep in mind now obviously these things are two different devices using two different interfaces and powers and all that jazz um, but the battery life did take a hit but in my mind that's not really a con because it's lasting the entire day for you essentially and um, I'm going to hardware later so but I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate that on more in the hardware portion of it um, another another summary that I found um, for those of you thinking about getting a wearable device it's a behavioral change it, it completely is um, when I got the gear fit when I got the gear fit back last spring it was a bit of a it was a shift because I wasn't used to um, relying on my wrist my watch for my notifications um, and this thing just takes it a step further and it is a complete behavior change because no longer are you taking your phone in and out of your pocket constantly you're now relying on your watch to send you the alerts buzz essentially or if you have it on uh, on speaker you can go ahead and let it, let it ring ring for you but now instead of having to take out your phone all the time you're just looking at your wrist and seriously like you're looking at each you're looking at each notification very quickly um, and I said, it's such funny. So a fun example is uh, I was at church the other week, and well, when I first got the gear fit, and I'd be sitting there, and I was constantly checking my apps because I was getting text messages because I was a part of a group discussion, and my my minister, sorry, my pastor afterwards comes up to me and he was saying that he asked me if my if his sermons were getting boring because he thought you know he was kind of he's looking at me checking he thought I was checking the time all the time, and I had to explain to him that no 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 I wasn't checking the time I was checking the alerts so. He felt good about it, and then literally immediately afterwards, he was kind of offended. He's like, "Why are you checking your your notifications during my sermon?" So I, I got a little I got a little flag for that, but that's fine. Um, another thing too was making calls on it. It's um, I recommend getting a Bluetooth headset. Um, not to say that the speaker function is not fine. Um, obviously, you don't want to be on speakerphone all the dang time. Um, you're going to want to talk to you know whoever you're talking to sometimes privately and getting a bluetooth headset will allow you to do that and although it's a bluetooth device you can connect another bluetooth device to it so like headphones um you can store music on it i have already so you can listen to so if you get those uh stereo headphones like um, from lg and motorola you can go and listen to music as well as make calls and all, all that stuff um but speaking of the speakerphone actually no, I'll, I'll elaborate that a little bit on later um, another struggle that I found was it was I was so used to receiving so much information about everything. Um, I'm receiving emails, Facebook messages, um, notifications from Yahoo, CNN, CNBC, and all that stuff. And all of a sudden, I wasn't receiving those anymore because when you are away from your phone, it doesn't forward you the notifications from all your apps. It only forwards you your messages, your emails, and your phone calls. Um, and that's it, the trifecta. And so I wasn't used to not having all that stuff. But at the same time, it made me realize how much of a consumer, a data consumer I was uh, with my smartphone. Um, I kind of felt naked for the first couple of days, but then all of a sudden I got used to it because when I got to work, I can just update myself at, on my personal computer. And when I got home, I can simply log on to my computer at home and check up all my stuff. And it kind of made me realize it wasn't all that important because um, a lot of people, and a lot of people argue, well, what about, you know, Line and Kako Talk, where, you know, those are two free uh, free text messaging apps. Um, and my argument back is I don't need them. I mean, modern phone plans today have unlimited talk and text. Now, a few years back when it was limited, it made sense. Now it doesn't. Um, and now I can just simply just text through the phone. So I got used to that actually pretty quickly. Um, and especially I can do speech to text, you know, clutch. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to move on to the hardware. Um, I'll, I'll probably give you my, I'll give you my final thoughts on the device um, after the one week. But I'm just trying to go over everything I learned about it. Um, I know I'm running a little long right now, guys. But uh, uh, please bear with me because there's a lot to cover on this device. And I want to make sure that you kind of get a full picture of it before you go out and decide to buy it for yourself. Um, 
So hardware, the actual hardware. Now, first thing I'm going to address is the band. Um, I know I kind of elaborated, um, elaborated about it on my first unboxing, first impressions video, but okay. although it looks like it comes off easily, you know, people have, people have commented on me, oh, well, it looks flimsy, like it's going to break off. I can tell you right now, um, the Gear Fit had the same type band, and it was just fine. The only reason, and the only reason why mine fell off, it popped out, was because I was an idiot and I literally like grinded against the wall. Like I went to go reach for something and I hit the corner of the wall and it literally just grazed it and it, it literally forced the watch out. Now, if you did that with a Rolex, you know, whatever, whatever kind of watch you're doing, you're going to destroy the watch too. I mean, so it's just going to be natural. This actually surprisingly holds it pretty tight. Um, I'm going to put it back in here really quick. So, for those of you who don't care about how it looks uh, at the band, I mean, first of all, it feels good. I mean, I don't know what the big deal is about having metal on your wrist. I mean, it's, I guess it looks nice and it's premium, but at the end of the day, it gets cumbersome. This is actually comfortable to wear. It's not intrusive. It doesn't really bother my skin and it's light. Sorry. Um, but I emphasized that before in the last video, it was light and it still feels light. I'm at work and I don't feel it. Um, other watches I wear, I usually take them off when I'm at work because it gets annoying on my wrist. Um, this one, I can keep it on all day long, which I have. I never took it off. Um, I constantly left it on. I only took it off to charge it. Um, and speaking of the charge, sorry, I'm going off topic here. Where is that charge base? Oh, here it is. Sorry. It's in my pocket. Now this monster here it's like so at first i thought it was ridiculously big um and it's not what this is is an actual portable charge base um it has a built-in battery in it um i did not notice that i did not remember because i was wondering because when you plugged it in it was blinking and even when i took the watch off it was blinking and then i went i went online and kind of read up on it and this is a portable charge base Essentially, so you could take the watch off and take this with you and then let's say you were out all day and you you know you weren't gonna come home. You can simply go ahead and pop this guy on because it charges with the device. And let me get that up here. It detects that it has it on. And look, it's charging. Bring back that. Ah. Sorry, this thing's sensitive. See? Charge symbols on. It's actually charging the device for you. So let's say you are out all day. You just bring this with you. And then if you have a moment and it's about to die, you just go ahead and plug this in. And I, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be that comfortable with you putting it on like that. You know, it's not, it's going to look funny. But hey, you know what? You have an alternative. The fact that they they didn't even mention that they're going to give that. I didn't know about this. And I'm quite a, kind of quite happy about it. This is a, it's a nice little touch that they, they added on. But you can simply just leave this at home. I mean, if you don't feel like you need it, just simply leave it at home and charge it up. Um, but this could definitely come in handy. You never know. I mean, let's say the power goes out. Well, you have a charge base that's you know can charge your phone for a little bit. So definitely, definitely a plus there. Um, now going back to the band, um, I think there's one last thing I'm gonna address is a lot of people who already looked at it. Um, a lot of people were checking me out, and that's another thing. Um, people were checking out me wearing the watch and everything at work, and when I went shopping at the mall. Getting a lot of compliments. Nobody, not one person, not one person pointed out that it looked cheap. Okay, it may it may feel a little cheap on this side piece of the right band, but no one focused on the band. Actually, they were more focused on the actual function of the watch. They looked at the face, like, oh, do you, can, you, can you make phone calls? And I showed them off. I was playing music, and they were all awestruck. I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, you pick this up, you're going to get compliments. People are going to ask you questions about it, and hopefully... I can I can try and teach you about it a little bit more. Um, not about the hardware piece. Let's talk about the screen. Actually, it's very responsive. I'll give you that. Uh, when I was doing my water test the other day, um, it wasn't responsive in the water because what the water does is it really does mess with the touch screen. So even if you're touching it, it won't sense that you're there because it's like something with the electricity flowing all over. It, it won't work. But as it is, the water the the screen works perfectly just fine. It is very responsive. The only thing I, I have a gripe with about it is if you don't get the motion quite right, so let's see it here. Like I'm, I'm swiping top down, but it's not getting it. You literally have to go up and over to the top edge. And remember, it's curved. 
So you feel like you may feel like you're toughing the top edge, but you're not getting it. Oh, that's sorry. You have to literally go from top and down to get it. And yeah, if you're moving slightly off, I just saw there, it will it will go to the other thing instead. So it's four directional. There's no diagonal with this thing. It doesn't pick up diagonal. Um, so like I was saying yesterday, the top down swipe is just like on your phone. You can adjust your volume. So let me go ahead and do that here. So you can do your volume, you can adjust your brightness, you can set it for auto, and do not disturb. That means it's like um, put on quiet mode. Here's the watch. Like I said, if you go left to right. Oh, one quick thing on the backgrounds too. Um, you can put a custom image back there, but I recommend never using the color white. Um, reason is all the texts are in white and you can't change the text color for some reason. Um, I put my logo in there, the LPX logo, and it was pretty much a white background. I could read nothing. I could barely make out any of the text, so that had to quickly change. Um, but I purposely left all my notifications on here just to show you guys that you will get some of them. Just because I got home, I got all these other notifications here for my apps. But let's, for example, let's look at an email here. You can start going through all your emails. And I don't mind showing you guys these. these this is not a private one, but it, you can you can read it really fine. It's it's really not that bad at all. And typically you can't respond to them. How? Just go back to your main screen. Oh, not as voice. We're not there yet. Swipe top up. You can go to you can go right to email. And I'm sorry, folks, it's uh, this Logitech camera just auto focuses back and forth. I'm doing my best to try to stay still for you guys. Come on. All right, whichever. I'm going to go into. So you can read your email from the email app. Sorry, let me try to steady the camera here. There you go. You can you can go into the email app. And what's nice is you can reply to the email. So. And you can do this when you're tethered to your phone and when you're also on the 3G. I tested it with my work email and it was just I was and it worked just fine. Now, this is a hardware piece. It's the QWERTY keyboard. Um, the functionality of the device essentially. Um, like I said, like I said in the last in the unboxing, it's actually quite responsive. Um, it's a full QWERTY keyboard. I mean like you would think that oh the the buttons the, the keys are so small like how are you going to accurately type something and what the device says in the beginning and it has actually it learns your typing habits um it's gotten better with the predictive words too so oh another thing too it actually does have swipe so let's see here i'm going to say hey there's hey you know you two okay there you go. Tube. Tube is right there. So, I mean, that's, it's really nice. So, like, you you think, like, oh, the W won't work. But literally, think that you're in type W. All right, it wasn't, but W is right there. You're you're pretty much telling the watch that when you press in that area, you, you're wanting to hit a certain key. And it's going to learn that. And it's going to really adapt it. Like, I can tell you right now, when I first texted with this thing, it took me forever. It, it like, because I was on my wrist going, you know. You know, doing doing one of these things all the time, and it was just going back and forth. I just I couldn't do it, but then slowly I got used to it. Um, I was using the swipe. I was doing all the shortcuts that it was trying to teach me, um, and I was texting like a machine, like the old days again. Um, there's that, and the aesthetically. So a lot of people will ask about is it what kind of a finish is it? And it's, it's a pseudo metal. It's mostly plastic. Um, as you know, you you'll feel. I thought it was metal, just uh, the little the the plastic wrap that they on it kind of messed with my mind a little bit. But it is like a chrome finish. Um, it was it's pretty much the same as the Gear Fit was, where it's it's a chrome finish. But if you start picking at it or you hit a concrete wall or something like that, it's gonna peel right off. But these things are quite durable, actually. Um, the Gear Fit, oh my gosh, like I banged into walls, I I dropped it, I fell on the ground. Yes, the size got dinged up, but the screen screen actually stayed fine. It never cracked. Um, not that I'm gonna test that. That's one thing I won't test. Um, I mean, but the screen's fine. Obviously, it's just like any other watch. Just watch where you're walking. Um, I mean, if you're by any watch, you're not gonna purposely start banging your arms around and grinding against walls. No, just be mindful of everything. You'll be okay. Um, there's that. 
Um, I already discussed battery life. Oh, another hardware piece. There is, actually, I'm going to show it to you right here. Let's take it off here again. There's a heart rate monitor right there. Um, it's pretty much their same heart rate monitor that they had on all their other devices um, and everything. So it's pretty much standard. There is also the SIM card bay right here. So it's a little micro SIM card here. It kind of misplaced a little, the, rem the little removing device. Either way, that pops out really easily. If you have that thing, just picks at it. But it won't fall out because, to be honest, you're gonna have it on your wrist, so there should be no excuse why it should come out. Um, other than that, and there's the charge ports, and that's pretty much it for that area. Oh, and that's where the speaker is, once again. There's that. So let's move on to functionality. Um, once again, I'm sorry I'm going all along here, but there's a lot to go over, and I hope you, I hope you guys are finding this um, in-depth review informative um if not um you're learning something <laughs> another functionality of it like i said uh you have four it goes four directions we've already gone through the notifications the top down swipe uh, let's go right into the apps um it comes with uh, i think about 10 I, I didn't count i i forgot but it comes with the standard ones like your email weather um pedometer um s health which i actually like that program uh, messaging and calling and then you can go ahead and download it. Oh, sorry, it does come with the navigation as well too, which actually works pretty fine. Um, I I went, I, I walked around uh, one of the neighborhoods I lived in, and I just turned it on. I just wanted to get from point A to point B, and it was literally taking me turn by turn. Um, it would buzz me every time it was a a turn was about to come up, so I can I don't have to I didn't have to keep it up in my face and walk around because I can just go ahead and just you know just put my arm down and when it buzzed me and just look at the direction. So turn by turn wasn't too bad. Car navigation, uh, I, I wouldn't mess with that. But you can, sorry about that. You can do car navigation on it. But the one thing I'm going to tell you right now, it gets a little annoying because you'll literally be driving and literally every two seconds, does it, you know, check. Does it, you, have, you have to keep checking just because it's telling you, hey, turn's coming up, turn's coming, up, turn's coming up. So it works. I'll give them that. Um, that's something the old phones did not have. Um, now the speech. Uh, a lot of people ask me about the talking on it. Like, this looks ridiculous. Talking on the device with your wrist in your face like that. It is just ridiculous. Um, they honestly, I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't have to do that. Uh, I found out really quickly that you really didn't have to. Just speak. The, the microphone on this is actually quite sensitive. Um, they only put their wrist up and walk around like the Power Rangers on the commercials and the tech demos because they just want to show you that you can. You can actually communicate with the device by itself as a phone. Um, but what I realized, I was talking to my friend. I experimented with him. I said, hey, I'm just, just testing the device. And just, I put my arms down to the side. I pretend I was typing. Uh, I pretend I was pointing at stuff. And my, so my arm, my wrist was away from my face. And he said that. He literally said that it, it sounded like I was talking to him directly on the phone, um, which was kind of cool. Um, another test was, too, I was walking down a neighborhood. Called him again. I was like, hey, how do I sound? And he said that it was a slightly more distant, but it kept going back and forth because I realized um, when your wrist is forward, the mic is picking up your voice very clearly. But when your wrist is back, like when you're walking, um, it sound and then from him, what he said that was, it sounded like you were speaking on speakerphone, but you were really close to the phone. So kudos to Samsung. Uh, they, put a, they put a really nice mic on here. Um, so is that so don't worry folks and if, if you don't end up getting a bluetooth headset you want to take a call you don't have to walk around like that that's just silly um and don't think that you have to uh, i know the marketing and all that's all the stuff out there tells you that you need to but you don't so don't worry you're covered and on that side get a bluetooth headset and you can get a cheap one for like 10 bucks um especially right now with being the holidays um i had one I didn't use it quite often just because lately i mean think about it, folks these days you're not really making that many calls and then when you do you're either out and about or you're driving so you don't mind picking up the phone calls anyway um and the few ones i did i put the bluetooth headset on uh, because i did have a couple business calls i had to do throughout the week um and so it kept it private so other than that you got your text messaging so it's just fine um other functionality oh yeah sorry the widgets i love the widgets uh, because it's just a quick way to access what you need to. Um, your music, your weather, it's just, instead of having to go down to the individual apps, you can just go directly to what you want to look at. So I'm gonna play my music. I 
you can set up favorite contacts. So there's my girlfriend, my parents, my sister. You can get quick information on your your exercise data. Oh, you can, or you can start up stuff. Now, don't judge me on my number there. I sprained my ankle pretty badly, so I haven't been really in it. So the fact that I did 4,500 steps today, you got to give me credit. That's on one foot. <laughs> uh, you got your weather. You can go ahead and scroll up on your weekly. I mean, so th and all this stuff right now is out of the box. Um, oh, sorry. I wanted to show you here. You can connect it to Wi-Fi. Sorry if you can't really see it too well. But it's out of the box without... So let's say you did get out of the box, you don't have a Galaxy phone, but you want to use it. I, I believe you can still just register and start making calls out of it uh, as, long, as long as you register your SIM card. Um, so for those of you who do end up getting it, I don't have it here, but the little sticker that comes here, it has it, that, that was the SIM card information that came with it there. Um, but you can, you can use it. Out of the box, it's pretty useful by itself. Um, I mean, you, you get all the apps that you need. You do get a sort of internet browser type deal. Um, you can go ahead. But if you want to set up emails and all your other personal data, you need to tether it to a phone. And that's another thing about the functionality is that I'm a little disappointed in that they did not give it the full reins as they were trying to. Um, I was really hoping that they would put the app store directly into the watch so literally I could feel comfortable walking into any of the carriers, pick this up and walk out without a phone. Um, but this round is not the case. Um, you do need to you do need to watch, like I said, to download all your apps, to upload them, to upload any music or images you want to put on the on the watch, and also to maintain it as well as give it updates. So it's not quite there, but this is to step in the right direction. So while that's a con in my book, it's not that big of it's not that big of a deal for me just because this is the first true standalone phone watch essentially or watch phone or whatever the hell you want to call it but it, it's there it's in the step in the right direction and I believe that at the Apple watch isn't going to do anything anything relatively close to this thing I mean it could don't get me wrong um, if I get my hands on one I would love to just play around with it and tell you guys all about it but until until then this guy is reigning king in my book um, you can oh yeah by the way the app I downloaded earlier there's Car Finder so it has to, it uh, it uploads it through the phone um, so you get um, CNN has one in there so you can get CNN news um, um, there's a couple games I downloaded there's the Nike Running App which comes standard on it um, there's a couple games out there you got Milk which is actually their uh, which is actually Samsung's rendition I believe of Pandora and like iHeartRadio streaming. Um, so it either it, so when you run milk, it actually runs milk through either the phone or your watch. So once you get everything set up, let's say you don't want to upload any music, you just want to stream the music. You can do that, which is actually kind of cool. Like uh, I went to the gym the other day, had my headphones on, played. I I got um I got milk to start going, and I was just going ahead and listening to music. Um, so it was really kind of cool. It was like Pandora on the go. Do I prefer Pandora? Well, actually, this one isn't so bad. I mean, I, honestly, all, these days, they're all kind of blended together, so they're about the same. Um, there's that. Um, I already showed you the internet function to it. There's a turn-by-turn, turn, which doesn't work really work well indoors. Let me see. Let, actually, let me see if I can get up and running for you guys. Now it's calibrated. It's telling me where south is. So this is how it pretty much works. So it tells you which way to go. So, hey, look at that. So, if it, so you see, this is pretty much what we'll do. So every time it buzzes, it tells you which way to go and stuff. So I thought that was cool. I mean, that's it's a nice little function to it. Phone calls. Well, you know what? I, I can't believe I didn't do this first. So let me tell you what. Let me show you how the phone function works. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm using this way because it's easy to hold. Um, so like I told you in the initial unboxing, it does come with a phone number for the actual watch itself. So let me go ahead and call it here. I actually called it my watch. So let's say you you know you want to set up call forwarding from your phone to here. So like I said before, when you're away, when the the phone detects that your the watch is away from uh, the, the the phone, it's gonna it's gonna tell it's gonna pretty much start beginning. It's gonna, the watch is telling you call forwarding activated, and then calls and calls and messages will begin forwarding to your uh, your watch from there. But 
you can also call it directly with the proprietary number that it comes with. And I've given a, I've given that number out to a couple people that I know just in case they don't get in touch with me in case the call forwarding may fail. But essentially, here we go. Like, this is my watch. Calling it. So it's dialing. And here it is. Answer. Oh, by the way, you can make it. Oh. All right, there's some feedback on it, but you can you can um you can tell it to just pick up the phone by saying answer to it, so it's kind of cool. So uh, unfortunately, I can't. Unfortunately, I can't tell you. I can't show you the um, audio quality. Unfortunately, just because the feedback between the two devices won't work well. But that's pretty much how it works. Like you're gonna get, you're gonna receive a phone call, and then you just go ahead and um, answer, decline, or whatever you want to do. Um, so as you saw throughout the review so far um, these widgets kept popping up because I kept touching the clock screen it's because this particular watch face I don't know if you can see it too well um, each 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 thing is an actual widget so for example I touch the temperature brings up the weather I touch the steps it brings up a pedometer so I did it brings up a pedometer I touch the battery life it gives me battery percentage Gives me the day, gives me the date. I mean, it, so I have no events today. So that's pretty straightforward, and um, I love it. Like, it's using the most of the real real estate space. Um, and like I told you before, if you don't want to go with the fancy faces, you can always go with like the informational one. So like, actually, my favorite informational one is this one here. So it's gonna load that up, and it has your time, your your, your temperature, your steps, and any any appointments that you may have or events so there's that and you can customize it and once again you can put your own image in the background um, all you have to do is just upload the image from your watch to your I mean so from your phone to your watch and you can go ahead and set it, set it as your background um, it's actually really easy I'll show you really quick how it's done so you go into your gallery and then let's see you can zoom in so I want to go ahead to the options I want to set it as wallpaper and you just gotta have to set it around the watch. So zoom in the way you want it. Hit enter. Done. There's that. And that's pretty much it. And also, I'm not gonna really use this one on you guys right now, but there's the S voice. Call Adam Farrell. Simple as that. So I'm not. I'm actually gonna call him, um, but it's it's pretty straightforward, guys. Like it's, I mean, I'm loving it. I mean, the call function I've been using it all week. So that's it's pretty much been my saving grace. That and the uh, the text messaging. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to. I'm just gonna just move on to the final thoughts here, and that's this review's gone on close to 40 minutes now. So I do apologize for the length. Um, I do hope that I've given you guys. Um, pretty much all the information that you guys needed. Um, another thing to remember, I did also do a uh, water test video of it. So for those of you who still maybe didn't watch that video um, and you were wondering if it's waterproof, yes, it's waterproof. Um, you just go ahead and um, go ahead and click on. I'll, I'll put the little video link on the bottom here now. Um, but you can drop in a bucket of water; it just work just fine. Um, I did it with my gear fit. I went swimming with it. It worked just fine after even diving 10 feet underwater. So, you guys, now I don't recommend you go throwing into the ocean purposely to test it out yourself. Um, but just be wary of it. But you'd be okay if all of a sudden it rains or someone pushes you into, into a pool or something like that. Um, but my thoughts on the device are still the same as my first day. I still love it. It is awesome. I mean, I get nothing but compliments from people. Um, especially even my own friends and family were like, what happened to the other watch? And they look at this one, they're amazed. Um, you should see the people's reactions when they first hear that, even when they get that first phone call on it. Um, I just do the same thing I just did. I would call from my phone and call to the watch and their faces just light up. Um, so to all those haters out there, uh, to, you know, they're like, that's so stupid. That's not going to be practical. A lot of people out there actually like it. 
Um, you may be the you you may be one of the few that says, "All right, it's stupid," but a lot of people enjoy the fact, and their faces light up, and they check out all the other functions the watch can do, and they fall in love with it. Uh, my coworker actually just um, after playing with it, she ordered one. Um, I thought that was cool. Or you know, she was thinking about ordering one. Um, unfortunately, she had uh, she has an iPhone, so she can't get this particular one. But she was very con she was heavily considering getting a smart watch in general. And I encourage all of you. I mean, if it's not even this one, there's the Pebble, there's the LG G Watch, there's the other Android Wear devices. There's plenty of watches out there that can cater to your specific needs. I recommend. I say go for it, especially now it's the holiday season. They're pretty much on like 50% sales. They're so affordable now. It's you never go back. Honestly, you'll pick it up. You'll fall. 99% uh, sure you're gonna fall in love with it, and you won't go back. Um, for this particular watch. Definitely keeping it. I cannot wait for their, well, knowing their track record, like the Gear S2 is going to come out in like three months and piss me off. I'm going to pick it up anyway. Um, if that happens, I'll, you know what? I'll say it now. If the Gear S2 is released in the next three to four months, give it or take, I'm going to give this away. Um, so you have to be a subscriber though. That's my only tip. But if you are a subscriber to me and in three to four months, the next version comes out, I'll pick that up and I'll give my regular Gear S away to one of you lucky fans. Um, that's my, that's my, and that's just my way of thanking you guys for sticking, sticking, uh, sticking with me through this. Um, but it's beautiful. Like I said, I keep getting compliments from it from people left and right. Um, just going to a restaurant, people ooh and all and as I walk by and I purposely turn it on so people can check it out when I walk by. So that's cool. Um, no, but it's great. I mean, having the music on there, it's just, I got used to it. Honestly, I challenge each and every one of you who end up getting this watch to try it out for a couple days because it really does change your lifestyle. Um, because now I'm pretty much used to not having to check my Facebook, not having to go on YouTube, um, and not having to rely on the internet. It's just because like I kind of tend to focus on the day more. Um. I know this is really hard to say within a week, but that's pretty much what happened. Like, I'm being more active per se. Yes, I have a sprained ankle, but I can still kind of gimp around. And I've been doing that more just because I'm not sitting there face planted in my device doing this all day. You know, for me, I get the information that's important right away. Get get done what I need to get done and move on and get going to my other stuff. Oh, another thing, sorry, I didn't mention. So the watch um, it comes with a built-in function where if it detects that you haven't moved for an hour, meaning walking around, it'll buzz you and remind you, hey, you've been inactive for an hour and these are your current steps. So I like that. Um, it's just it's just another way to try to push, you know, health, you know, try a healthy lifestyle. Um, but um, I said in my other video too, Honestly, you don't need to get the mobile share plan. Um, I personally think it's a, it's a good investment. It's just ten bucks more to add the watch onto your data plan, and I like it for the fact that in case I do leave my phone at home, I go out, I'll be fine. I'm covered. I can go ahead and use it. Um, and then the fact that I can still I can still receive and sec send emails and uh, text messages, it's just great. Um, but other than that. Oh, also, I can stream milk, which is the, uh, not milk literally, but the music, the music service. Um, but besides that, as just a smartwatch, it's perfect. It's everything you need. Yes, it doesn't have Facebook, whatever. But for the smartwatch functions and the stuff that you expect from the current smartwatches, this thing goes above and beyond. It excels at it. Um, and it's actually just gorgeous. And uh, I can't, I know I keep saying that, but I love it. It's just, it's so comfortable. I'm more than happy with it. Um, I just can't wait for the next ones. I'm uh, just knowing the track record by next year. It's going to, I don't know. Hell, it could be, uh, it could be, it could be, I can't even imagine what it could be next year. Just to see the, how much it improved in one year. But I've been going on for almost over 40 minutes now. I know this has been a long review, but I hope that I was able to answer some of the questions and doubts that you may have had about the watch, um, as well as maybe, maybe, maybe um gave you guys new things to think about about just smart watches smart devices in general but once again if you have any questions about the watch or any other technology stuff that 
um, I may or may not know, please feel free to ask. I'll be more than happy, uh, more than happy to respond to you as I did to some of you so far. Uh, I really do appreciate the comments. Like I'm just glad that some of you have already sent me feedback um, stuff, and I've been more than happy to re respond to you guys. So thank you, thank you very much. Um, as well as if you have any other type of comments or any criticisms for me, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Like or dislike the video. Um, I appreciate both positive and negative feedback. Um, as well as if you would like to keep, keep um, seeing videos like this or different versions of it, I'm going to keep improving my videos. Please subscribe um, to my channel. Um, each, each subscriber really helps me get towards that goal of um, really learning the skill sets I need and finding my, na my niche in this, in this saturated market already. Um, that's it there. So once again, thanks for bearing with me these last uh, 40 plus minutes. I really do appreciate your time. And um, I hope that this video really helped address any of the issues that you may have had. So once again, my name is Andrew Wong, aka Ryan375 for LPX Studios. See you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.